Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here and in today's video I will be going through some dream draft scenarios for the Washington football team in the first round and maybe even some in the later round. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content. So let's get right into the video and I know not everyone is going to agree with my dream draft scenarios because you know people value different things in the draft but that is definitely fine and i'm going to try to keep it at least somewhat realistic like obviously trevor lawrence zach wilson they're not going to fall to the washington football team at 19 or even outside the top three so i'm not going to do anything like that so the first one is micah parsons starts to fall past 15 and maybe even to washington football team at 19 it's not very likely, but there's definitely a chance where Micah Parsons, you know, falls past, you know, 12, 13, and Washington could trade up, you know, a couple spots and get the best linebacker in this class. And if they only have to give up, you know, a third or fifth to move up a couple spots to get this guy, I definitely would be okay with doing it because Micah Parsons is the best linebacker in this class, you know, best, at least best rated linebacker in this class and would take this defense to a whole nother level and i do think it is some real somewhat realistic that he starts to fall because there's five quarterbacks that are probably going to go in the top 10 then you tack on one or two receivers two offensive linemen and you know kyle pitts then there's definitely a chance that micah parsons doesn't go until 11 or 12 and if he doesn't go there then maybe Washington could move up a couple spots and snag him because he would definitely take this defense to another level and you know the ultimate dream would obviously be Micah Parsons falling all the way to 19 you know you look at his um, stats this or not this past season because he did opt out but in 2019 had over 100 tackles five sacks five passes defended four forced fumbles he's about six foot three 244 pounds he's i think he ran like a 439 40 yard dash he is an absolute stud he's an abs he's such a good athlete and that's what you want at the linebacker position he has a lot of elite traits that you know uh, if our linebacker coach and Ron Rivera, Jack Del Rio, can help coach him up, I think he can take his game to the next level, especially in coverage, because that is kind of where you know he struggles a little bit with. But I think, like I said, he has the traits to do it at the next level. He just has to put it together, and I definitely think he could. So if the Washington football team only has to move up a couple spots and give up maybe uh, a third or maybe even a second I think that's a little bit too much for me but if they only have to move up a couple spots to get them I definitely would love to do that and then next one is another you know somewhat similar uh, if we could get a linebacker by trading back maybe we trade back a few spots and still end up getting Jeremiah Uso Koromoa because I think Jeremiah Uso Koromoa is gonna go in that you know 15 16 to 22 range so if he's not you know, if he, if you can trade back a couple spots and get some future assets and still get your guy in Jeremiah Uso Koromoa, I would absolutely love that. And it, you know, that it doesn't just have to be that. It could be trading back to 25, 26, getting some more assets for next year if you want to trade up next year or just to fill some needs this year and still get someone like maybe Jamin Davis, Tevin Jenkins if they want to tackle or maybe if they really want to you know surprise us maybe get Trayvon Morig in the first round but there's a lot of great possibilities that if the Washington football team trade back to you know somewhere in the 20s and still get a guy that they would feel comfortable with taking at 19 that would be a very very good scenario for the Washington football team the next one this isn't you know too outlandish but someone like Christian Derrissaw or Sean Slater or Elijah Vera Tucker who are all projected to go in the top 15 if they fall to the Washington football team at 19 I would absolutely love it Christian Derrissaw I don't think he's gonna fall to 19 could happen though I definitely would love that you know I, I like Cornelius Lucas but he's you know he's not too young he only played like six, seven games last year. He did play really well in those games, but he got injured a couple of times and he's a free agent after this season. And whenever you can upgrade at that tackle position, 
you do it because tackle is you know second to third most important position in football behind quarterback and edge rusher so christian derisa would be a beast elijah vera tucker can play like three four positions on the offensive line that would be another good option and rashawn slater that would just be an absolute home run he's going to go in the top 10 more likely than not but if he starts to fall a little bit like like i said for micah parsons i would be willing to trade up a couple of spots maybe even more than a couple to do that and you know john kind has said that he thinks there's a couple players that washington would consider trading up into the top 10 and those positions he said that they would do it for would be a quarterback tackle and linebacker so very interesting right there for the washington football team and you know shoring up that left side of the line would be great um so the next one is one of the top three receivers in this draft falling to 19 jamar chase jalen waddle or Devonte smith and the first two not very likely and even Devonte smith he's probably going to be gone by 11 or 12 with the giants and eagles picking at those spots but if he starts to slip and he falls to 19 i'm not really willing to trade up for him but if he's there at 19 and you can take him i would absolutely love that you know probably the best he was the best receiver in college football this past season because jamar chase opted out and jalen waddle got hurt he was an absolute beast best route runner in this class great hands great quickness great agility just a great player good you know character guy and if the washington football team could get him and you put him on our offense with curtis samuel terry mclaurin you know logan thomas antonio gibson jd mckissick that would be absolutely outstanding and i'm you know normally not a huge fan of taking your receiver at in the first round unless it's an elite prospect and i think Devonte smith qualifies as an elite receiver prospect because you know usually i don't like it because i you know drafting a receiver in the first round because i think you can get some good value picks in the second or third round but i think he would be too good to pass up and if he falls i would take him at 19 unless another great prospect is gone and this last one is probably the only one that's you know controversial for some people because some people absolutely love the idea of trading up and some people hate it i'm somewhere in the middle i would like you know to trade up if justin fields or trey lance falls but i'm not really willing to trade up into the top seven and i'm still a little hesitant to trade up to eight or nine but if one of these two players justin fields or trey lance starts to slip past 12 and they're there at 13 14 or yeah 13 or 14 because the patriots would probably take a quarterback but if they're there at 13 or 14 and you don't have to give up too much i would absolutely trade up you know five spots to go to where the vikings are or six to go to where the Chargers are to get one of these guys sit them behind ryan fitzpatrick for a year and you got your franchise guy in 20 or your potential franchise guy in 2022 and john kime did report that he doesn't think that they would trade up into the top 10 to get trey lance but it's possible that they would do it for justin Fields. so we will see what ends up happening let me know down below in the comments which one of these dream draft scenarios you like the most and which one do you think is the most realistic some of these were realistic and some weren't like i don't think micah parsons is falling to 19 but he could fall to you know 15 uh, and we could trade up a couple of spots to do that so let me know in the comments down below i appreciate you guys for watching and make sure you do turn on your notifications because it's going to be crazy in the next few days leading up to the draft and when the draft comes on so you don't want to miss a video so appreciate you guys like the video and peace